Hello from Shraddha from Love Bites. Today I have done a fusion recipe. It's a Mexican recipe but I have used the Indian cottage cheese. Make sure when you make this recipe, you cut the paneer pieces into really thick cubes else it won't be very nice. Make the marinade well and keep it for at least 4 hours or overnight. The tortillas to this recipe is given on my whole wheat quesadilla recipe. Just convert the whole wheat into corn and make the tortillas. Since mangoes are in season, I've made it with mango salsa and it has come out super scrumptious. You must, must try out this recipe. We're not a family of paneer and mango, but I couldn't believe I had it over three days. We loved it so much. So when you have lots of mangoes in the market, which you have right now, or on your trees, pluck them or buy them and make the salsa. All the ingredients to my recipes are given in the description box below. Have a look, to like, to subscribe and click on the bell icon for notifications. Until next time, give this recipe a try. Bye bye. Today we are going to be working on some tandoori paneer tacos with mango salsa. For that, we are going to take some tandoori masala red chilli powder and we are going to just mix the dry ingredients first. Make sure it's all very well mixed. Once you've mixed the dry ingredients, we are going to take some cooking oil, any oil that you feel like and we are going to add that in there. Mix it again. Make sure it's all well incorporated. We are going to take some paneer pieces which I have cut. Make sure it's a little thick. You can take some masala on your fingers and just coat it. So like this, we are going to coat all our paneer pieces and I am going to keep it refrigerated overnight. Let's work on a spicy cilantro and yogurt sauce. Take a mixer grinder. To that, we are going to add some jalapenos. If you don't have access to jalapenos, you can use green chilies, coriander or cilantro. Take leaves and the stem or the stalk, bit of pepper powder, extra virgin olive oil and a bit of lemon juice. There's also salt in this and yogurt. So let's grind this to a fine paste. I'm going to try and not use any water in this if possible. Here it's done. Now we're going to take some yogurt and add to it. Here is some yogurt and now we'll just add the cilantro paste which we had made in here. After you've added the paste, just whisk it. I'm not adding salt right now. We will add salt just before we want to serve as this will get even more thin. Right now it's just perfect. We're going to refrigerate and keep it until further use. It's time to grill our paneer which we marinated and kept overnight. Take a grilling pan and heat it. To that add some oil. To this we're going to add the marinated paneer and just grill it on both sides. Take a little oil and add around it. And also make this in clarified butter to make it healthier. Let's check if it's done on one side. Yes, see? Once it's grilled like this, we'll flip it over and grill it on the other side too. Yes, it's done. Here is all our tandoori paneer grilled. We're going to keep it aside until we assemble our tacos. Let's work on our mango salsa. For that, take a bowl. Into the bowl, we'll add some mangoes. I've chopped them. It's Alfonso. Kesar would also do well in this. Some onions, finely chopped. Coriander or cilantro, finely chopped. Jalapenos, finely chopped. Add according to your spice levels. Red bell pepper, diced. Lemon juice. Salt to taste. We'll just mix it together. Make sure it's very well combined. Taste it. If you want to adjust your salt, jalapeno, lemon, do that. Otherwise, your salsa is ready. Now we're going to assemble our tub. We had not added salt in our spicy cilantro yogurt sauce. So now I'm adding salt because I'm going to serve. So add it just before you're going to assemble your tacos. Give it a good mix. Now let's work on our tacos. Here's a tortilla. It's around 4 to 5 inches. Recipe for the tortilla is in the quesadilla video. Please have a look. Just replace the whole wheat with cornmeal. Warm your uh, tortilla on the griddle. And after you've warmed it, place your paneer piece on it. Add your salsa. Some sliced purple cabbage. Cilantro sauce 
and some sliced jalapenos and serve it with some mango salsa on the side here it is amazing recipe indianized but with the mexican touch do give it a try when the fresh mangoes easily available thank you